Here's a dilemma. You're outside, it's freezing, and someone puts a warm cup in your hands. Here you go, this kind someone says. It's eggnog, and I have no idea if the nutmeg has been tested for mycotoxin contamination. What do you do? Let's ask the mycotoxin bin. It's December now, and from where I'm standing way up here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's cold. And if you're like me, you'll reach for that cup of eggnog, mulled wine, or punch for relief. But before we wander too close to the punch bowl, let's ask a question. What is it about them that makes the festive flavors of cinnamon, nutmeg, pepper, turmeric, and others such ripe targets for mycotoxin-producing molds? In general, it's to do with where they're from. Although many of us in the frigid latitudes reach for our favorite spices when it starts to get cold, most of them come from the tropics. High humidity and temperatures there conspire to create conditions favorable for the production of aflatoxins and ochratoxin A. In fact, it's such a well-known problem that the Codex Alimentarius has a specific code of practice for the prevention and reduction of mycotoxins in spices. What does the Codex say? To sum it up, keep water away from your spices at all stages of processing, the harvest, production, and storage. Why? Well, spices tend to absorb water from the environment very quickly. Scientists call this property hydroscopy. So keeping your eggnog spices dry means that you won't have to worry when you wet your whistle over the holidays. And believe it or not, that's all we have for today. That's right, no numbers to run this time. From now on, if we have some fun facts about mycotoxins, we'll just share them with you, numbers or not. If you need even more facts, visit us at romerlabs.com and be sure to follow us on LinkedIn or the social network of your choice. Bye.